Poll to refresh is a really common tutorial request that I get, and I came up with a pretty clever way to build a poll to refresh interaction using Flinto, and I'll show you how uh, to do that in this tutorial. It's worth noting that the loading spinner that I'm using is something I already created using the behavior designer, but you can drop in an animated GIF or a video or create your own spinner in the behavior designer, and you can just replace what I have exactly with that, and it works the same. So here's what the finished interaction is gonna look like. And let's get started. <laughs> All right, let's create this poll to refresh interaction. I've got a screen here that represents a e-commerce site and there's a loading spinner and you can scroll this content. Now, of course, I don't want the loading spinner to be visible when I first start here. So I'm gonna fade it out. Now we need a way to reveal it. What I'm gonna do is create a big rectangle over the entire screen and I'll make it red and fade it out a little bit so I can still see through it. And that rectangle is gonna serve as a target. So I'm gonna name it target. I'm gonna attach a swipe gesture to it later. Uh, I'm gonna take that, put it in between the loading spinner and the scroll content and make a behavior around all three of those layers. I'm gonna call this behavior show spinner because swiping down on that target is gonna show the spinner. So I'll make a new state, name it spinner, and in that state, I'm gonna fade in the spinner. You can't actually see it there, but trust me, it's faded in. Now I'm gonna take the target and the scroll content and move them down a little bit so that when the spinner is revealed, that content has moved down. Now, swiping down on the target is going to take you to the spinner state. And to get back to the initial state, it's gonna use a timer link. So 800 milliseconds, You'll see it here, 800 milliseconds go by and it automatically goes back. And when you swipe down on that red layer, it reveals the spinner and moves the content down. So it's starting to look like a pull to refresh interaction. I'm gonna name this group pull to refresh. And the next thing I wanna do is make it so that that red target layer is, is shown and hidden when I reach the top of the screen. And I'll do that by creating a new behavior. But first, I wanna hide that red layer and I'm hiding it because that means that it doesn't respond to any interaction if it's hidden. It's different than lowering the opacity. Now I'm gonna add a new behavior to the same group, and this one's called reveal target. So I'll make a new state where I show the target. I'm gonna call it revealed, and I'm just gonna unhide it. And from the initial state, I'll select the scroll content, and I'm gonna make a link that targets the revealed state using a scroll gesture. So I'll click create link, target revealed, choose scroll, and now I just need to choose the range that's gonna take me from one state to the other. And that should go in the opposite direction. So I'm scrolling up and it's only gonna be from, you know, very small range from one to zero. And you can see here, right when I reach the top, that layer appears and when I go down, it disappears. So that means you only see this layer when you're at the top of the scroll range and just making sure everything else works. Next thing I'm gonna do is fade out that red layer. So when it is revealed, I don't wanna actually see it because it's just there to receive that swipe gesture. And I'm gonna make the reveal target behavior start in the revealed state so that I can immediately try that swipe down when I load the preview. Cool, now I can swipe down and, and swipe back up. And that's because the target layer has been hidden so it doesn't respond to interactions when I've scrolled down, allowing me to freely scroll in both directions. But when I reach the top of the scroll group, that target layer is there, even though you can't see it, and I can swipe down on it, revealing the pull to refresh animation. 